My name is Lennon Vanderdose. I'm 27 and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, Lennon. My lord. I couldn't have turned quicker if I tried. Honestly, the first note that came out of your mouth, I was like, oh my lord, this is so good. That's honestly one of my favorite voices I've heard in the show this season. As you can imagine, there's a lot of people that come out here and play guitar and sing singer-songwriter stuff, but not many people come out with a unique tone. And it's something that's so pure and clean, and even your little raspy bits in the lower register add so much character to it. It's just part of your voice. I've got one spot left on my team. I would give anything. Anything? Yeah, anything, because if that's your bar. I'm a songwriter, yeah, that's my main thing. What kind of stuff? Just anything that speaks to me, man. I'd say that above all, I'm a storyteller. And you're my hero, as far as that goes. I mean, wow. for real. Wow. Wow. I can't believe this is my real life right now, because for the longest time, I thought, because my voice is different, I didn't think it was good. I didn't think I had a place on this show. And so... Oh, oh my god, you've got more than a place. <laughs> Something that you should celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Lennon, I would have turned around, but I have my whole team. But I absolutely loved your voice. Are you a full-time musician? Yeah, I've been full-time for just a year, actually. I mm. quit my job. What I did before that was I actually worked with people who had Alzheimer's and dementia. Oh, my gosh. And very heartbreaking. But the one thing that they still remember and connect with is music. And so I'd go in and just sing to them. And I quit that job with 50 cents in my bank account. Not the best move. But, you know, pretty soon you just make the connections you need and you play around. But ultimately, I'm a songwriter. I want to play what I'm writing, and I want to put that out there as well. Oh, my God, I love you even more. So. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to The Voice, and thank best you. of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Lennon! <laughs> I was waving my hands like I was at church. I was up on my feet. It was just a tour de force of a performance. Honestly, you're one of the best vocalists I've heard. And we need voices that are interesting, that are distinctive. And it just felt like you have a real point of view. You belong out there making records. You belong out there touring. And this is my eighth season now. I have so much experience helping artists realize their vision. And I believe I could do that with you. I just want to watch your journey through this business because I believe you're going to be around for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Your, your songs have been the soundtrack of my growing up. Hi, Lennon. It's me, Gwen. I feel like I'm last and you love him and you love him. <laughs> but I'm not going to not fight for you because... You're Gwen Stefani. Come on. Like, come on. I'm such a good coach, I promise you. I was shocked to see who you were. Like, your voice does not sound like how you look, and that is just so cool and so amazing. It's sad to think that you went around your whole life going, oh, I hate my voice, I hate my voice, you know what I mean? Or whatever you did in your brain, because nobody can be like you, and that's just the gift that God gives us, is to be unique and individual. The lyrics were guiding your whole vocal performance. That's the songwriter in you. I'm also a songwriter. It's the greatest thing in the world to be able to write a song and capture a moment and then share it with people. And I really would like to coach you. I feel like I'm the underdog between these two. <laughs> 
rock stars on either side of me, but I have the most experience between all three of us. I've been around longer. This is true. This is true. I kind of wish I wasn't, but I am. <laughs> Anyways, in all seriousness, just pick me. I would love to coach you. <laughs> I love you, Gwen. Yay! <laughs> all right, Lennon, I will ask you the question. Who do you pick as your coach? I love you all. I really do. I got to go with Niall. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Lennon, oh my God, what a voice. Let's do it, come on, let's go. So unique, authentic, needed in the competition and in our industry. We have not heard a voice on The Voice this season like Lennon's. Woo!